When exactly did you start uh, following MMA? Uh, I've always been a fan of just competition and, and physical sports, but uh, serious, serious uh, following MMA probably about five years ago. Um, how long did it take for you to uh, you know want to start training and start you know getting into? I've yourself? always wanted to train. It, it just the opportunity just never presented itself. And, and once uh, after meeting uh, Alexander Crispin and and Jeremiah Labino, it, it, you know it kind of it kind of all fell together and the chemistry clicked and, and I have a great time. Uh, what's it been like for you to train there? With you know you got the Porter twins, you got Joe Neal. Uh, and it, Jeremy, like you said, it's it's been so it's been so different. You know, it's it's just a different type of training. Uh, you work a lot of different uh, muscles that you don't normally work out, and and I do everything. I do Muay Thai with Coach Allen, um, and my jujitsu with with uh, Chris Beam, and and uh, with with Jerm. You know, the kid. You know, he's he's up and coming pro and 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 doing so well. It's always fun getting a lot of you know, even especially sparring. You know, it's always fun just doing a lot of different things. Um, have you? Have, what kind of comparisons have you seen in your training for MMA, but compared to football? Well, it's just uh, you know, it just works different. Like I said, different muscles and, and different joints. Uh, but one of the main things it helps a lot with me because uh, I'm not I'm not the smallest guy. It helps a lot with uh, my flexibility right. uh, when I'm on the ground and I'm rolling around uh, with my with my BJJ and. Um, it's just it's just it just helps my flexibility and my hips and, and you're doing different movements that you're not used to. Uh, it actually kind of keeps me healthy during the season. To be honest with you, especially during camp, it makes me help me get through camp a lot easier. Just because I'm a little more, uh, you know, all my one-legged movements in football is kind of you know used to it now with the with the training. So uh, besides your flexibility and your movement, how else has the training helped you on the field? Oh man, it, it's helped me with some quickness. Um, it's helped me. Um, Transition, like I said, is just being being a little healthier, um, you know, physically, just doing different things, and uh, you know, it helps a lot with discipline, just just learning things and, and clicking the things faster. When you're learning something new, I've, I've always been a fan of learning something new, and and when you learn new things, I, I help. I think it keeps your mind fresh and keeps your mind fast. Um, you know, anytime you see a UFC or a strike first event, you see a lot of NFL guys in the <laughs> crowd. Uh, Mike Mitchell is uh, trains with Gilbert Melendez once in a while. He yeah. has a big Melendez fan. Have you tried getting any of your other teammates to come out with you and train? Uh, you know, uh, I'm working. I'm working on my little youngster running back, uh, Taiwan Jones. He wants to come out and do some boxing training with us. And I, and but uh, you know, it always starts with boxing with guys. You know, with other athletes, it always starts with boxing because you want to hit, you want to punch. But uh, once you get in, into the to the academy and you see these things, you see all this different training going on. Uh, you just want to do it all, you know. You just you don't want to limit yourself ever, and, and it's you know you always have a great time with it. It's always challenging. You always want to challenge yourself, and that's one thing I've always done is to continue to challenge myself. And it's a challenge to uh, to do it, but it's always fun. Uh, being a fan of the sport, is there a, any fighter that you follow closer? Is there has there been a fight that you can remember that really got you hooked on the sport? I can't remember. Uh, you know what? I, I can. You know, um, I don't know if you remember when uh, Rampage Jackson. Uh, was about to get choked out you with the triangle, him. picked him up and slammed the guy. Uh, that's that's been one of my favorite, you know, takedown slam, you know, ever. And I always remember that one. But uh, one of my favorite fighters is um, is, is the Spider, you know, uh, Anderson Silva, and uh, you know Alexander Crispin, obviously, you yeah. know, very very close to him. Uh, Jeremiah Lavino, who is is going to be the next star, hands down. Uh, he's taught me so much. He, he's also a great fighter. Um, is there, speaking of Silva, you know, everyone's going to be talking about Asana and Silva too. Silva's your favorite fighter, but what do you see happening in that fight? He's going to win. He's gonna win? How do you think he's going to win, though? I honestly think he's, he's going to, he's probably going to choke him out again. Choke him out again? Any, any, any prediction, any round? No prediction, no prediction. Because no it's so, this sport is so yeah. unpredictable. It's just always fun to see and watch it and, and cheer on whoever you want to cheer on. And, uh, you know, no disrespect to anybody, but, you know, the spider, I don't think he can be beat. Be honest with you. He's defended his title nine times. I mean, not many people have gotten that far. Exactly. Not right. many people will get that far. <laughs> One more question. Um, looking past your NFL career, is there a point? Do you feel yourself going the Herschel Walker route and maybe trying to fight? To be honest with you, I do want to fight. Yeah. I All love right. sparring. I love the contact. I love you know the competition, and I do want to fight. I don't know how my wife is gonna feel about it, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but we'll see what happens.